It was at this exact spot five months ago where the public was first introduced to a local superhero, e Energy Man, and his sidekick, Econo Boy. I'm Jess Stevens. Buckle up and get ready. Do you remember Energy Man? Oh yeah, I remember him. And the day he made his big grand reveal. Everybody in the town got a letter in the mail saying go to the old public park regarding an issue of dire importance. So we were at the park, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he appeared. He stood there all high and mighty and started to give a speech. Citizens of the world, I have gathered all of you here today to warn you. So many of you take our planet for granted. So many of you senselessly waste energy without realizing what you are doing to the planet. Well, I'm here to inform you, with my sidekick Econo Boy, that enough is enough. All energy wasters will be found, and justice will be served. It was, uh, interesting. What followed soon after was a series of deeds so heroic that energy wasters started to fear the names Energy Man and Econo Boy. Oh, you can't energy man. Look at all these electronics that are plugged in but not being used. And look, the fan's on while the window's open. Man, this guy really wastes a lot of energy. What? You heard him. People like you make me sick. Do you know how many easy ways there are to save energy that you just choose to ignore? Things like turning off the TV or the fan and not leaving them on when you're not using them. Don't you know the kind of harm you're doing? But I guess you just don't care. You're thinking, oh, it's not my problem. Well, it may not be your problem now. But when our country is facing the biggest energy crisis of all time, I'm going to be quick to point fingers at the people like you. Good job, Akana boy. Another waster put to rest. And now we're one step closer to making the world a better place. Seriously? Yeah. Such acts of bravery did not go unnoticed. With each energy waster exposed, people started to care more about the Earth. Well, they sure made a difference around here. <clears throat> Ever since their arrival, everyone here has done more to save more energy. Compact fluorescent bulbs brighten everyone's houses. Electricity bills have been at an all-time low. Everyone's the happiest they've ever been. And there you have it, a story of action, adventure, and hope. Nobody really knows what happened to two superheroes, Energy Man and Econo Boy. Some say that they were just a wake-up call that this energy-wasting world needed. But what is for sure is this, wherever there's the AC on and the window open, or TV left on too long, Energy Man and Econo Boy are not too far away. I'm Jess Stevens. 